Now, depending on how close Greg Roman and Stanford are on an agreement, if they're even close on an agreement, because we don't know yet. Um, but depending on how close they are, and even if they've already agreed, uh, which it sounds like that's the direction that is headed in. It, it sounds like Greg Roman is going to be Stanford's next, next head coach. But depending on how close they are, today's game against the Broncos on offense, it could either go really good or it could go really bad. The reason I say that is from personal experience. You ever been, because I've been in this situation, to where you've been at a position for a while. For, for, for a couple years and you've been wanting to get out for a little minute and you've been applying to some stuff you had some interviews here and there but you ain't get nothing yet so then you had this interview and this interview went great and the department's like hey we want to hire you we want to bring you on and it's like oh wow this is my chance to get out okay let's go and then on top of that you accept the opportunity for me, I, like for me, when that happened to me, um, back in 2018, uh, I, I accepted the job, I accepted the promotion, and I just, at my current position, I just got lax, because I wasn't going to be there for that much longer. I'm like, hey, my numbers, they don't really matter as much anymore, because I'm about to be gone anyway. And I know some people are like, well, hey, you need to keep those numbers up for your next position, because they always watch. I was like, hey, look, I don't care. I'm about to be out. So I ain't putting in as much work as I used to. I'm chilling until I get to my next spot. And that's exactly what I did. So hopefully Greg Roman doesn't take my approach. Because, I mean, I did end up getting laid off from that position, um, what, four months later? Yeah, four months later. But then that allowed us to start doing this full time. And it worked out in the long run. But anyway, uh, with Greg Roman. Let's read the report directly from uh, Ian Rappaport. He said, uh, Stanford is interested in Ravens offensive coordinator Greg Roman to be its next head coach, and the interest is believed to be mutual. Could one of the, mo one of the NFL's most respected assistants be, back, be headed back to college? I, I can't even read. It's so early in the morning. I'm not even all the way fully awake yet, but see how much I love y'all? But anyway, um, so that's, I mean... That's pretty much like it's not officially saying that it's happening, but it's looking like it's happening. If Stanford is interested in Roman to be the next head coach and there's mutual interest. Yeah, it, it sounds like a deal is going to be announced uh, any day now. Now, one thing that has been a real big question on a lot of people's minds, if they hire Greg Roman, when does he leave? Would he leave like right away? And if so, who would be next in line to be offensive coordinator? I think for the time being, um, it would be either James Urban or T. Martin. That's just me, though. That, that, that's just me. Um, I, I think it would be one of those two, though. Uh, I would probably think that they, the Ravens would lean more towards James Urban since he's been around longer. But at the same time with T. Martin, it seems, it's just me, it seems as though they may have let him know or promised him something or told him that, hey, you next up. Uh, for offensive coordinator, especially based off of the events that happened this offseason. Well, was it this offseason or last offseason? No, this offseason, this past offseason, um, where he interviewed for the Bills offensive coordinator position. And it could have just been one of them things where the Bills were just like, no, we're not going to give it to you. We're going to go in another direction. I don't know. We don't know. Um, but I just I, I wonder if the Ravens told him like, hey, T, like you up next. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But um my guy, uh, Skeptical, made a really good point. Um, if Greg Roman is to take the position, he would have to take it like now um, because it's obviously different than taking a head coach position with the NFL. Um, if you take a head coach position with the NFL, uh, you can leave after your regular season is done. Da, 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 da. But he talked about how with college is different because you got to start the whole recruiting process. That begins early. And then, like, like you see with uh, with Dion, with Dion, um, last night he made it official. I mean, it was rumors for the past couple of days, but last night it became official that Dion was accepting a head coaching opportunity with uh, Colorado. So he, they made it happen right away. It's like boom, okay. He and he told uh, the previous school, Jackson State. Oh, I'm out, I'm out. So I wonder how that would be with Greg Roman now. Ravens got a game coming up today, uh, and I, it's funny. Yeah, y'all are funny, man. 
Y- y- y'all are the best. I'm, I'm telling y'all, man. Because when I saw this report this morning, I tweeted out. I said, oh, Greg Roman about to call the game with his life. But again, after I thought about it a little while, I was like, oh, yeah, it could go really good. But then it could go really bad. If, if, if he was like me, then it, he might be super lax. But we'll see. But um, I said, Greg Roman going to call the game of his life today. Uh, my guy Dante said that vault is going to be unlocked for sure. Um, <laughs> Ange Love 85 said, I was thinking that too. Expect some opening of the vault. If he continues to have inconsistent offensive performances, this opportunity may go away. Ooh. Uh, again, that's what I'm thinking. I, I wonder if, that, if, if it's already a done deal, though. I wonder if they already talk numbers and all that. Um, uh, my guy... Uh, Mo said, uh, well, Mo, the mixologist, he said, man, just get this deal done already. Now, Proud Munchkin, he said that Pat Ricard in the round about to go crazy. Um, and then the fan opinion, he said, so Ricard going to be in the slot? And then my boy Keith said, plus the jet sweep. Mm. So um, it's. It should be fun. Should be a ex- this like makes the game that much more fun and interesting today. Um, now, Big Easy, my guy Ed, he said like 2012 after our loss to Denver at home, where we fire Cam Cameron, Greg Roman will have the same fate. Ravens lose today, fire Roman and win the Super Bowl. You can't fight destiny, my friend. That would be something. Um, but yeah, this is a little different situation. Um, but. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully they don't lose though. We don't we don't hopefully they don't lose. But yeah, this is a big opportunity for Greg Roman to really go out with a bang. Um to really go out like boom, hey, y'all saw what I did against a really really good defense on my way out. Give me one more meal. Give me one more milli. This this could in, this could be a, a talking point, uh, a negotiation tactic for Greg Roman. He does has a great game today. The offense goes off against that really really good defense. You see, look, look look what I'm doing in the pros. Like college, college is tough. It's not on a professional level, but I, see if I can make it happen here, I can make it definitely happen there. So, um, but yeah, the biggest thing I, I just keep thinking about is just win. Uh, and and I guess like it makes sense that he would have to if he gets the job he would have to leave like right away. Um, because now I think about Matt Rule, but again it's a little different because he wasn't he had already been fired from what was it the Panthers or the Giants I forgot where Matt Rule was I think it was the Panthers I, I I get a lot of these coaches mixed up oh no Joe Judge was with the Giants and Matt Rule was with the Panthers I think that's what it was but anyway Matt Rule he recently um. Got hired as a college head coach. And, and you know what? It's crazy. It's just, it's all about who you know, man. And, and I know it's a whole different subject, but it's all about who you know. Because these guys, some of these people, they could be terrible coaches in the NFL. And then it's like college would be like, come here. We're going to hire you. So I, I don't know everything about how that works. But maybe they see something in them. I, I don't know. But anyway, he got fired in the NFL. And I forgot what college he just got hired to to coach for but he's starting right away so i don't know man so with greg roman um again is it sounds like all signs are pointing uh to him leaving the baltimore ravens and this this actually works out for the ravens too and we talked about this before already because i said i i, I always thought this was going to be greg roman's last season i actually thought last season was going to be his, his last season but i didn't know he had a year left on his deal i didn't realize the the amount of time that him and Wink had left on their deals until the Wink and Ravens mutual interest thing. So I, I, I didn't know that. Um, but when they had the, the mutual interest and, in, well, the mutual parting of ways, um, that's when I realized, oh, Giro got a year left on his deal. Because Wink had a year left on his deal. Didn't want to do the lame duck thing. And also it was like, you know what, I'm out of here, baby. I'm gone. And Ravens was like, don't let the door hit you with a good Lord split you, buddy. But, um, yeah, man, that's it. That's that. But this allows um, for what for the Ravens, it allows them to move on amicably with respect. And they were always going to handle Greg Roman with respect either way. They they, they were never going to fire him. I mean, with his contract running out, they could have been like, well, we wish you the best of luck in future endeavors. Da, 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 da. They wouldn't have even had to do the whole mutual part in the ways thing. They wouldn't have they wouldn't have had to done that because the contract would expire. Or if it, if it expired, they could have been like, hey, we, we want to, Greg Roman's going to be seeking other opportunities. Da, 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 da. 
but this this is just another way for him to leave respectfully. I I just said respectfully. Wow. Oh, it's early in the morning. This allows him to leave respectfully and with grace. So shout out to Greg Roman. Um, again, like I always say with Greg Roman, I I don't feel like Greg Roman was a bad offensive coordinator. I don't. I just feel like he was a great introductory offensive coordinator for the first couple of years for these for the young quarterback or even a new offense whatever but great first couple of years but after that i, I just feel like the offense sort of dries out i feel like it, it, it peaks after those first couple of years and then there's not really much advancement after that so um we'll see how he does in college well we'll see if we see how he does in college like, again I, I feel like it's just a done deal i feel like it's a wrap i feel like it's definitely happening but uh, especially, especially after that report. Like, that report is like, oh, yeah, there's mutual. Oh, okay, yeah. So, because it's one thing, like, if we see the report about mutual interest in the NFL, that's one thing. Because I feel like in NFL, sometimes the money might be limited. There could be mutual interest, but yeah, if that money ain't looking right, it'd be like, oh, salary cap, boom. But in college, as far as hiring a coach, if there's mutual interest, they, they'll pay you a lot of money over there, as a head coach especially. Especially they trying to lure you from the NFL. Oh man, yeah. So that's why it, it just it's, it's happening. It's happening. It ain't official yet, but I mean, it's, it's probably happening. But anyway, appreciate y'all, man. Um, shout out to Giro. Shout out to Greg Roman. And uh, let's see, man, because you know that's that's gonna be the topic, man. That's gonna be the topic all game long. Greg Roman, you going to Stanford? Oh, you called that play? Oh, okay, you checked that already. Oh, you call that play? Oh, you trying to get another? You trying to get another meal on your contract? But we'll see how it goes. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And just like Greg Roman will be very, very soon. I'm out.